Hi guys, this is part two of my PSP collection. I want to thank all my viewers on YouTube and OneUp.com. And right now, I'd like to thank my new subscribers on YouTube.com. I now have 81 of them. And pretty soon, hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll have 100. But uh, tell me what you think. And let's see, we'll go ahead and get started. The first game is a racing combat game called Flat Out Head On. Chili Con Carnage. It's a pretty interesting uh, shooter. It's a very wild coat in arms. It's a robot uh, shooter game. The Con. Haven't really played this game yet. Crash. Tag Team Racing. Crazy Taxi. Fair Wars. If you like Crazy Taxi. Crimson Gem Saga. I like the uh, the graphics. I like the sense of humor this game shows. But unfortunately, uh, there's a bunch of different random battles that aren't really supposed to be random. And uh, I didn't like how you couldn't set up your uh, formation the way you wanted to. And it seemed like it's one of those games where one member of your team has to be revived every single time. I played it for a little while. But uh, I played about three quarters of the way, but I kind of got bored with it. But, uh, you know, if you're a hardcore RPG fan, you might like it. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. This is an action RPG. It's kind of fun, but the menus are so doggone confusing. Uh, I'm still trying to fight a boss battle in there. Cube, a puzzle game where you're basically moving this cube around these different designs and you flip them over and stuff like that and you're trying to get to open up switches and stuff so you can get to an exit. Crush. Absolutely one of my favorite puzzle games uh, on the PSP, if not ever. You're basically collecting these orbs and uh, in the screen you're, you're trying to get to them but uh, some of them orbs you can't really get to unless you turn the screen into a 2D view and you do that by pressing a button and then once you're in the 2D view you can see where you can get the uh, orbs but this is an excellent, excellent, excellent puzzle game. Excellent. You can get it for like nine bucks at any Kmart and a lot of the game stores, they sell it cheap. But if you're a puzzle fan, I don't think you can go wrong with this. I, I really, really love this game. Daxter? I, it's a platformer action game. I kind of got bored with it when I was trying to do the racing portion. I just couldn't seem to get through it. Dogstalkers Chronicles, The Chaos Tower. It's a fighting game from Capcom. Deadhead Fred. Dead to Rights, Reckoning. If you like Dead to Rights, you'll like this game. Uh, it's been a while since I've played it, but it's, it's pretty fun. Death Jr., one of the first uh, action games for the PSP when it first came out. Death Jr. 2, The Root of Evil. Uh, some critics didn't like Death Jr., but apparently it was popular enough to warrant a sequel. In fact, there's a sequel on the DS, too. I'm not sure I have that one. Desagia, Afternoon of Darkness. Dissidia, Final Fantasy. A very fun, unique uh, fighting game. DJ Max Fever, an excellent rhythm game. If you like techno music uh, and you like rhythm games, this is a very underrated gem. I liked it, and I think a uh, music fan would like it, too. Downstream Panic. This is in the uh, vein of lemmings, only instead of saving lemmings, you're saving fish from getting eaten. And use different tools to get the stream of water to take the fish to safety. Dungeon Maker, Hunting Ground. This fell under the radar. I played this for days and days and days. I love building up the dungeons and setting them up. The better the dungeon, the more monsters you get. The more monsters you get, the more money you make. So, this is from Xseed, from UFO, and it's a sequel, Dungeon Maker 2, The Hidden War. This one, it just felt off. The graphics weren't as good, uh, the mechanics weren't as nice. It just felt and looked cheaper than the first one. But I would definitely recommend Dungeon Maker Hunting Ground. Dungeon Explorer, Warriors of the Ancient Arts. Dungeon Siege, Throne of Agony. Dynasty Warriors. If you're a Dynasty fan, Warrior fan, you can't go wrong with this. 
apparently somebody's a Dynasty Warrior fan out there. Enough of them to warrant a thousand and one sequels. So EA Replay, a collection of excellent EA games from the I believe Super NES, or excuse me, from the NES. And let's see what uh, systems I've played them before, but I can't remember. Uh, it's got Wing Commander, it's got Budokan, it's got Desert Strike. And I have played this, but it's been a while. But it's a bunch of old classic EA games from the 8-bit and 16-bit era, I do believe. Tom Clancy's End War. Every Extend Extra. This is a very fun and frantic game, but it's really difficult from the start for me. I enjoy playing it. I like the music. It's from Q uh, Question Mark, which made the Luminous games and the uh, Meteos games, I do believe. But I, I like the game. It's just really hard. It's a beautiful game, too. Exit. Great, great puzzle game where you're Mr. Esk and you're using your skills to help people escape from different dangers. But whatever you do, don't get the DS version. The DS version sucks. This is the version you want to get. The graphics look really, really good. And uh, it's a beautiful game and it's a fun game. But get this version if you must get Exit. And I'd, I'd recommend Exit for anybody, especially puzzle fans. Fading Shadows. This is where a puzzle game where you use a beam of light to uh, drag a steel ball to various exits and traps. And uh, the thicker the light, I believe, the faster the ball goes. And the thinner the light, the slower the ball goes. But you, you basically guide this beam of light and you guide this ball to the exit. It's okay, it's just the mechanics are kind of stiff. Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake. I'd never played a Fat Princess game before. But it's an excellent game. When I bought it, I assumed it would be nothing more than a different rounds of capture the fat princess and get her to your side. But no, there's more to it. There's a bunch of different missions that you have to do. Family Guy. Video game. It's a fairly fun game, but the dialogue is a little bit repetitive. But it's, it's still pretty fun with a variety of gameplay. Field Commander, this is pretty much uh, the PSP's answer to Advance Wars. And it's a pretty good Advance War clone. If you like Advance War and you got a PSP, you'll like this game. Fight Night, Round 3. Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. Final Fantasy, it's a remake of the classic Final Fantasy game. I actually played this one all the way through, and I would have played it further, but they somehow erased my bestiary, so that's why I wanted to replay it, but the only thing I didn't like was the random battles, but it's still a fun game. Final Fantasy II, a remake of the classic Final Fantasy II game from the NES. You know what I'd like to see are remakes of uh, Final Fantasies 3 through 6 that they've got on the uh, Game Boy Advance. I'd probably buy those. And they probably look better, too. Frantics. Uh, basically, I believe you're getting your, your guy from one place to another without getting him killed. And you're uh, moving boxes and stuff like that. Not a bad puzzle game. And finally, Frogger. Helmet Chaos. This is basically Frogger in an adventure mode using his uh, frogger skills and a few other skills like his tongue to get across from one place to another. And it's okay platform but it's mostly for kids. Okay guys that's part two of my uh, PSP collection. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you and uh, thank you for making my last video such a hit and uh, thank you and God bless. Bye bye now.